Lumet. I'm the president for the Rotary Club of Harrisburg, and I invite you to join us for a traditional luncheon meeting, service on a Monday, or Rotary alternate meeting. Everyone's invited, and that means you. Check out our website or Facebook page for more information. Good afternoon, and thank you all for being here, fellow Rotarians. This is an exciting time after a lot of work and a lot of um, time together with these fabulous students from John Harris, SciTech, and Bishop McDevitt. We, we just, uh, and the wonderful guidance counselors who support them and make sure that they attend our meetings. It's my pleasure to introduce our wonderful mistress of ceremony, ceremonies, India Smith, who is a senior at Bishop McDevitt. So it's your show. I'd like to thank everyone for giving us the opportunity to tell you about a YCDC project um, and the subject that is important to us this year. I now invite my YCDC classmates to come up and tell me about their name and their team name and why they chose it. The first team will be Team Building Love. My name is Thomas Berkeley, and I'm a junior at Bishop McDevitt High School. Hello. My name is Destiny Chisholm, and I am a senior at Harrisburg High. My name is Faith Daniels, and I'm a senior at Bishop McDevitt. Um, my name is Brianna Wilkerson, and I'm a senior at Side Tech. Our idea behind Building Love was to really consolidate the community's efforts to really fight teen homelessness and get children off the streets. Um, and yeah, we really need to take all of our funds and really put it towards a common goal. And that was our idea behind our name and our team. Thank you. Next will be Team Girls in Brindley. My name is Brinley, and I'm a junior at Bishop McDevitt High School. My name is Madeline, and I'm a junior at Bishop McDevitt. My name is London, and I'm a senior at SciTech. My name is Jacob, and I'm a senior at Bishop McDevitt. My name is Lily German, and I'm a senior at John Harris High School. My name is Michaela, and I'm a junior at Harrisburg High School. Um, so just a little story real quick about our name, the girls in Brinley. Um, you know, I don't know if you, you guys have ever heard a boy named Brinley, um, but as far as I'm aware, it, it doesn't exist. Um, so in our, our first uh, meeting for YCDC, um, we got put into our groups, um, and we were reading off our, uh, our group members' names, and someone in our group uh, thought that I was Brinley. Um, so we thought that was kind of funny, and so we decided that, you know, we should just run with it and uh, use that as their name. Um, and then, you know, we, we think it's important, um, you know, team homelessness is an important thing to uh, focus on in the community um, because as teenagers ourselves, um, you know, if we were homeless, we would really want people to support us and we would need help. Thank you. Next will be team Sunflower Growth. My name is Jolie Lawson, and I'm a junior at John Harris High School. My name is Delaney Klein, and I'm a senior at Bishop McDevitt. My name is Kathy Renteria, and I'm a junior at Side Tech University. My name is Kayla McHale, I'm a junior at Bishop McDevitt. So we came up with our team name, Sunflower, through the way that a sunflower in nature, it needs resources in order to grow, such as the sun, and for us, we wanted to show growth in the community through hopefully this program, through the club, and to make things better. Next will be Team Sushi Rolls. Hello, my name is Carl Singleton. I'm from SciTech Campus. 
My name is Navaya, and I'm a junior at Harrisburg High. My name is Grace McMurray, and I'm a senior at Bishop McDevitt. My name is Gwyneth Parthamore, and I'm a senior at Bishop McDevitt. Uh, for our name, we chose sushi rolls because after the first day, we did icebreakers, and we were talking about all of our different interests. And we found that the one commonality we had was that we all really liked sushi, and we had a shared goal. And so it stands for Students Uniting Students in Harrisburg Institutions. Next will be Team Neighborhoods Army, which I'm also a part of. Hi, I'm Rachel Seneca. I'm a junior at Bishop McDevitt. I'm Angelise Rodriguez, and I'm also a junior at Bishop McDevitt. We chose Neighborhoods Army as our name because we believe that, like an army, we have the duty to serve and protect our community. And army is spelled the way it is because it includes the initials of each of our group members. Next, it will be Team JRL. Hi, I'm Jacoby T. Um, I'm a junior at Bishop McDevitt High School. Hello, my name is Joan Priya Paul, and I'm a senior at Bishop McDevitt. Hi, my name is Samaya Penegar, and I attend Christ Center. We chose the, J the name JRL because that's the first initial of all our names. We also think it stands for joyful, respect, and leaders. We believe that the Rotary produces leaders and that we use respect and joyfulness throughout the world. I think all the teams did a great job of introducing our, themselves. Now I'd like to tell you a bit about our project this year and how we chose the area which, which we felt was most important to the community. Uh, I invite Grace to come forward and explain our selection process. This year, the 2022 to 2023 YCDT class has chosen to focus on teenage homelessness as the most important issue our community faces. But choosing and agreeing on that topic wasn't easy. Brad Gephardt first led us through a community needs assessment in which we had to choose an issue that was important to us. We had many ideas which could create impact and change. We then narrowed those issues and in a panel of community leaders was gathered to talk to us about each area, which included safety and domestic violence, basic needs, food scarcity, and homelessness. These were prevalent topics on the panel. After discussion on each topic together as an entire class, we chose teenage homelessness of the ages 13 through 19 as the most important need. We chose teenage homelessness because it's the area where we felt we could make the most difference. Thomas will now explain our RFP and awarding process. It took us many session, sessions to come to an agreement on the parameters of the project and the types of organizations we would want to work with, because we all feel very passionate about this project and how we would like to address it uh, to the best of our capabilities. But we eventually determined that a request for proposal will be issued to area nonprofits in the greater Harrisburg area. At the beginning of the calendar year, we worked with Rotary Club of Harrisburg, the Foundation for Enhancing Communities, and the United Way to distribute, to distribute our RFP to area nonprofits. The application deadline for the organizations was February 1st. In February, we reviewed and evaluated proposals from organizations and narrowed it down to three different ap applicants. In April, we'll then choose a finalist and award a $5,000 grant to the organization that best fits our mission. I now introduce Gwyneth Parthmore to talk about why we feel so, feel so passionate about this topic. As my classmates have said, when we started this process, there were so many issues that we felt were important and worth funding. We've discussed and learned about everything from food scarcity to domestic violence. In the end, we chose homelessness with a focus on students aged 13 to 19. 
Addressing teen homelessness is very important because every teen deserves a safe home, but there are limited support systems for teen homelessness, and by giving teens a safe home, many other areas of their life will improve. Now two of my classmates will tell you why this topic is personal to them. Angelise, please come up and tell us why homelessness is something you feel passionate about. My personal statement about teen homelessness goes as follows. I believe teen homelessness should be a more recognized as a community-wide issue. Did you know there are over 350 homeless teens recognized or registered in the Harrisburg School District? I believe that this fund could not only help these teens in need, but also shine light on more accessible resources in the Harrisburg area. I was disappointed to find close to no resources that fit the criteria we presented to all of you today. I feel that with this grant, we can start to end the lack of known resources in our community. Next, my classmate Jolie will share a personal story uh, telling us why this topic is important to her. Today, I would like to talk about a personal experience that I have on being a homeless teen. There was a point in my life where I lived in a different state with zero family besides my mother and my brothers. We fell upon a situation where we didn't have a home within a day. With us being so far away from family, we had no choice, and short on money, we had no choice but to stay inside of a homeless shelter. In the short time that I stayed inside that shelter, I learned that I'm simply not myself without the security of my home. So the fear that comes with being a teen girl living amongst the heap of strangers is one often overlooked. I feel that it is important that we have a secure place for every teen to stay, no matter the situation. I was fortunate enough to have my parent, my mother with me in this situation, but I feel that it is important that we use our privilege to protect and advocate for the teens who need us. Thank you. Thank you to Jolie and Angelise for telling your story. I'd now like to introduce Gladly, who will talk about our fundraising process. I feel very strongly that addressing homelessness is one of the most important things that we can do in our community. The YCDC class is charged with raising the money to provide organizations with one to five thousand dollars to offer programs and services that address teenage homelessness. It's a big goal. It's a big goal but we believe in this cause. We believe that teenage homelessness is a problem that should not exist at all. Not a single innocent soul should experience such hard times, especially young, pe young people who have so much to live for. At least one in 30 adolescents ages 13 to 17 experience some form of homelessness without a parent or guardian over the course of a year. If this pro problem is not addressed, it could cause mental health problems, substance use, unsafe sexual practices and barriers to education and employment. We believe in this enough that we're going to have a fundraiser at Bishop McDevitt around April in which our friends and family will be able to help. Thank you. Um, so I've been leading the fundraiser at Bishop McDevitt um, with the help of my advisor, Brandon Garlick, and all of my uh, YCDT Bishop McDevitt members. We hope to sell sweets um, in early April and mid-April. And yeah, Mr. Garlic, can you say some words, please? Within the past few months. Oh, thank you. Um, and uh, thank you for giving our students this opportunity. Um, I think everybody, I, I can speak for McDevitt, um, the whole crew has been really hard at work uh, fundraising, but um, I want to give a specific shout out to uh, India and, and some of our other seniors. Um, I think she's been in my classroom every day the past week, um, and it's been really nice to have that interaction. Um, in fact, she went as far to uh, go to Mr. Harper herself, uh, even, he's our principal, for those of you who don't know. 
And uh, I didn't even know she was doing this. And uh, comes to my room the next day and says, uh, hey, I got it approved. And I was like, awesome. I didn't even have to do any work for that. So uh, on behalf of all the students here, thank you so much for your support, really. Finally, will make a difference. By being our partners in this project, you will help us fight teenage homelessness. We ask for your generous support by filling out pledge cards that are being passed out by our classmates. Today, we've raised over $600 uh, to address the cause of teen homelessness. As the pledge cards are being passed out, I'd like to thank you for your consideration and appreciate your interest in our project. We hope you understand why we feel so passionately about this issue and we appreciate your partnership. If anyone has any questions, feel free to ask me or any of the YCDT participants. Thank you for your time this afternoon.